Hi everybody, welcome to Stone Talk. I am Marcus. Today we are in beautiful Ikera and Ikera Church. And today we're going to read this beautiful runestone together. At the center, there's a cross, it makes this into a Christian reference, of course. And uh, there is also a, a crown on top. Because this stone is put here in memory of a woman who used to be married to uh, the brother of Eric the Holy, who was the protector, protector saint of uh, Sweden and Stockholm. So today when I do my parking on my parking app in Stockholm, I see the face of brother of her uh, husband. That's the symbol of Stockholm. And at the top here, there is a cross again, and it ends with another symbol. We'll get, get to that later. And the first word here is the woman's name, and it says I-G-G-A-B-A-R-G, -A -A Ikaborg. And Ikaborg is the woman's name, and Igi, or Ika, uh, is the name of, a, of an ancient Germanic deity. And uh, the next word, it is, let me see here, it is F-I-L-I-A. Filia. And filia, that is not Old Norse, that is in fact Latin, so this stone is uh, written in Latin. Filia means daughter, so Ikibor was the daughter of someone, and it says, let me see here, A R M U N, and then there's a T and an A together, there may be the room master, run out of space, and then I. That makes it Er Munti. So Er Munti was the father of Ikibor. And then it says I, A, and uh, this is a K, but it pronounced a C, and then an A and a T. So it says Iaset, and Iaset means resting. And then H, I, again C or K, Hik meaning here. So here rests Ikibor, the daughter of Er Munti. And the last symbol here is what we call a T-mother, or an M and an R, and maybe an A on top of each other, which is a reference to Ave Maria, the, the Latin uh, prayer. It's very beautiful.